Okay. Yeah, I just did a video, but uh, looks like it didn't work. So, what, well, what I was saying was Alex Jones has banned me, blocked me from commenting on all of his channels, you know. He doesn't want people to be led to God. He wants people to be led to himself. He wants to be a little God, a little fat Buddha doll, you know. And uh, he's over there in Seattle messing around with all those uh, people that sold their souls into this world, you know. He walks by all the homeless people, those that have been rejected by the power structure, are those who have rejected the power structure. And he's trying to grease elbows with those rich faggots over there, man. Yeah. Yeah, he banned me from leading people to Christ, you know. That's because he compromised. He compromised himself already, you see. He's, he went in for the money. He went in for this world, you know. Just tell a few fibs, man. They'll let you in, you know. So he's working with them all, you know. He's working with them. That he wants to be a part of them. He wants to be a part of this world. What does the Bible say? You, don't, you love not the world, nor the things in the world. Because everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the showy display of one's life, does not originate with the Father, but originates with this world. Furthermore, this world is passing away. But those that do the will of God live forever. They remain forever. So that's why Alex Jones is fighting for this world. Because he's a part of it. You see, and he wants to make it so he's more comfortable. But there are a lot of people that hate him, you know. <sighs> he doesn't want to hear the he will, he doesn't want the real truth to be known. And I had so much love for this guy, you know. So many good feelings for him. I really loved him, you know, because he looks like a child that doesn't have the answer. That's why he's running around so frantically, you know. Those in uh, confidence in God, we know what's coming. We suffer like no one else in this world. We suffer because we're not a part of this world. We suffer all of the hatred, all of the suspicion, all of the lies, all of the false accusations from all the people in this world. We suffer more than you ever imagined, Alex Jones. But you want to, you're the big hero. You want to put yourself up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's why he compromised. That's why he said he don't have nothing against homo. They're fine with him, you know. But the Bible says they ain't going to be in the kingdom. Look what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, man. God says they are out of the way completely. He doesn't have anything against transvestites, you know. He hobnobs with all the, the uh, uh, he doesn't have anything against the Jewish elite that rule the world. He doesn't want that known. He keeps that quiet for them so that he can eat all that food and get so fat, you know. That's what his deal is. He's not Christian. He hates Jesus Christ. You know, he's, oh, he's, a, he's a Christian. You know in what sense he's a Christian? In the sense that the, the Southerners are Christians, you know. Those that send all their sons and daughters to go off and, and kill people, the strangers they don't even know. Yeah, that kind of a Christian. Yeah, he, that's the kind he is. A hypocrite, man. But not the true followers of Jesus Christ. Because those people don't, don't listen to the Bible. Jesus says, he that takes the sword shall perish by the sword. I could, I could ask for 12 legions of angels to protect me right now, you know, but my kingdom is not of this world, you know. If it was, I would fight, but it is not from this source, you know. So that's what Christians are. We are truth tellers, and we suffer unbelievably. They mark you from the time you're young. They're watching you, you know. They watched me. They knew who I was when I was six, 17 years old. I was getting attacked. Walking down the hall at school, somebody taps me on the shoulder. Boom! All I can see is stars, you know. But these, they, they, this, uh, this was somebody I never even saw before, never talked to before. But you know why that happened? Because people pay these people to do these things. They're like paid assassins. This big cabal. 
And they're, they're, they've been try, they were trying to scare me for so many years. They thought I was going to turn back onto their side. There ain't no way. No way, you know. And one thing John Lennon said, he proved to be true, you know. He says, I resent that I, I, that I compromised myself for those years. But then he pulled the plug. He turned his back on him, man. And he was like 30 years old. And he got in touch with reality and hell with all this Beatle fantasy garbage, you know. And then it came out who he really was, you know. Then they wanted to kill him again. But then he kind of tried to compromise again because he didn't really want to die, you know. And he put out the album Double Fantasy, you know, and he was hanging around with Elton John. He didn't want to get killed, you know. He wanted to live a good long life. But they said, uh-uh, you did too much damage already. And he says, sayonara, you know. So it's really interesting what we got here, man. But you got to love God and love the truth or else you ain't going to survive. Now I talked to Jehovah's Witness. They said, well, Jesus is the way and the truth. Yeah, they said, we have a book out by that, you know. Because I went into that, their kingdom hall and said, Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. And they grabbed my arms and threw me out of the place. I says, yeah, but you have to discern, you have no discernment. That's why you're not one of Jesus' sheep, because Jesus' sheep hear my voice. We don't dress up like bankers and the world rulers of this darkness to avoid persecution. That's not the way of Jesus Christ, because once you look like them and act like them, you become one of them because you're a coward and you can't follow Jesus Christ. So they promise you, oh, we're gonna, God's going to miraculously uh, make you survive through the great tribulation just like those liars that tell you you're gonna be raptured Don't worry about it. just join our church. You're gonna be fine But guess what Jesus says no man come to the Father, but by me Foxes have holes Birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head so you read in Revelation about the, 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 the glassy sea mingled with fire and those that came off victorious from the mark of the beast. They went through the fire, man. You think you're going to jump around with your little faggy garbage and make it through the great tree? No, you're going to have to go through the fire following Jesus Christ and getting away from the giving up this world or else you ain't going to make it through, man. No way. When Jesus, Jesus is the way, and if you don't follow him, you ain't going to live, man. That's how it is. So you can play your little religion game, man, and think you're getting brownie points by walking around like a little fairy in a suit and tie or whatever. It ain't going to get you nowhere. And so many of those people that have left, they don't even believe in God. They never did. It was just a pressurized act they put on. You know, but I, but no man, no man taught me about God. God himself told me about himself. They directed me to the Bible, yeah. But those words had no meaning for them. But it had meaning after God gave me his Holy Spirit. It had meaning for me because I'm his son, you see. And I'll never compromise. So... Alex got a little bit too hungry for the world. He has a good spirit in some ways. Uh, a, a spirit that is hungering for love and truth. But he has too much of a love for this world, man. Are you going to gain the whole world and lose your soul, Alex? And not even allow Christ to be preached? Then you are the most pitiful of all men. But I pray for you that you would... Put up your hand, slam the door on this world, and be finally a man of God. But it ain't happening yet. You're still a pussy footing around with your fat tub, man. Get rid of it. Stop hungering for this disgusting world. It ain't a normal life, man. But you, you, if you don't suffer like Jesus Christ, you're not a Christian. All those desiring to live with godly devotion will suffer persecution in this country and every country. And that's the fact.